This next clip is how does the arc work? And it seems to give us infinite energy, infinite time. And we'll refine this idea a bit more in the next coming clips. But let's start with this one. How does the arc work? Okay, I mean, I mean, essentially, these fuel cells power the arc. In turn, mm -hmm. the arc recharges the fuel cells. It, it never needs an external power source. But so that seems violating to me. That seems like conservation of energy is not respected. So you get batteries yeah. that charge that that run a motor, and then the motor that charges the batteries. Now that's right. that's that's how cars work, and that's okay, yeah. because we're ultimately getting the energy source to turn the motor from gasoline. This, I mean, it, it would yeah, it, I, I think it doesn't make sense at all. Um, right. And so then Hannah, she like it. He iterates it in her own words, and yeah, she's yeah. saying unlimited energy and unlimited time. Right. An unlimited energy machine that also produces unlimited time. No wonder Taurus wants it back. Not unlimited time, the same amount of time over and over. Okay, so Renton's super sharp. He like hears what she says, mm -hmm. and he's like, mm, minor, minor correction. Okay, so so he's saying that it's not. It is. It is unlimited energy. So, right. so the machine is running off of these power cells, but the, then the, the machine, when it's running, charges those power cells. So it is unlimited energy, but it's the same amount of time because you go through the loop the same three hours, 15 minutes, mm -hmm. 14 seconds, whatever it is. It, it, in some sense, though, Hannah is correct that there's unlimited time because the memories are preserved. So That's somehow you can learn... So if it's if it's three hours and you do it three hours a thousand times, you can get three thousand hours of learning done mm -hmm. in three hours of normal time. Yeah. So in some sense, that has no limit. Gosh, that would be an absolute like college fantasy, right? Like, <laughs> like that's right. I can just loop this over and over again. I'm going to master it. Then I'll rejoin everyone else in regular time. It's just a plus, a plus, a plus. Like a not plus, a problem. A plus, yeah. And it looks like you did it in three hours, but actually it was thousands and thousands of hours mm -hmm. just over and over again. Right, you're doing crunches the whole time. You show up later around, you're like six pack, and everyone's like, what the hell? You're like, all I did was study. I studied for three hours, and I came back with six pack yeah. abs. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't this happen in, in the original Groundhog Day movie with Bill Murray? He actually like learns to play the piano to like a high level because he he's going through the day so many times. He learns yeah, right. all kinds of things, and he never ages. What? Oh, fantasies. Fantasy. <laughs> I'd be an Olympian in every sport. Then why wouldn't you? Okay, and then mm -hmm. the final iteration of this, Renton says limited energy and reused time. The loop ends at 925 because that's when the power source runs out. When the, the fuel cells go dead? When the loop resets, the fuel cells are still charged. The arc isn't producing unlimited energy. It's just using the same energy. Cool. So, so, I, so it's not producing new energy it's using the same energy again and again and so yeah. does this does this make sense i mean i guess i guess if you're resetting time you're going back to the beginning then yep. that energy is no longer spent like it's 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 returned right yeah so i guess in if you if in in physics if you go backwards or forwards in time then the amount of energy stays constant the whole time whether you're going forwards or backwards in time however the amount of usable energy forward in time decreases and backwards in time de increases okay yeah. because once you like run an engine or run a refrigerator the useful energy is diminished so if you run it forwards in time you lose the the energy the usable energy and then you run it backwards and go back to the original you gain the the usable energy back mm -hmm. so somehow it's still conservation of energy energy is still conserved oh and because you're going back in time uh the useful energy comes back. Right. So so the way I thought about this was I thought about it in terms of a translation symmetry. Okay. So if you do a spatial translation and you find that that there's no dissipative forces, then you get conservation of momentum. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 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 yeah, yeah. So so if you if you have a scenario like you're on a train or whatever mm -hmm. and you can slide this thing around so a spatial translation, if the yeah. dynamics of whatever's happening doesn't isn't affected, then momentum is conserved. Okay, so I did the same idea, but with time. Yep. So you do a time translation symmetry, not not space anymore, but you know time axis. Mm -hmm. And so if there's no dissipative forces, then the energy should be conserved. And so I guess what would I think we're saying the same thing actually. Like if so, a dissipative force would be if you were if you had friction, for example, or as the example as you gave it, if you were running a machine. So you have to do work in, in order mm -hmm. for the for the so you turn potential energy into work energy plus heat 
that heat is gone out to the universe. You cannot reassemble it. And so it's energy that's been that's been mm, diffused. It's been it's been lost to the system. Okay. But if you had never did those, then uh-huh. you never dissipated those those energies, which means right. the energy could come back, which means it could yeah. be conserved. Yeah. So it's a cool sequence where we go from like implausible, like super implausible and super mm-hmm. implausible to um, fairly plausible and okay. fairly plausible. Makes right? sense. Yeah. It makes sense because now this is, okay, still we would never, we don't know in our current understanding of science how a Groundhog Day scenario would work, but this is like much more plausible makes sense, than right? infinite, infinite, infinite. This is limited energy, reused time. That makes sense. Right sounds more plausible it's tighter than when we started so in the very first clip where they said unlimited energy unlimited time i'm thinking as a physicist i'm thinking like is this is super not real but maybe it is for the movie maybe i just accept mm-hmm. it and try to work with it like don't worry about yeah. it and, and then as the movie goes on it makes more and more sense right and it's more and more plausible is like kind of putting it together over time as he's confused yep so it's like built up over the movie it's it's cool it's a cool it's sequence yeah